Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Solar Stripper here, back with another video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you a cell pad and how you guys can set this up to work with your realm slash server. So this is how it works. If we have some stone in our inventory and we step onto the cell pad, it will take all of the stone out of my inventory and add the score to the money scoreboard that you have. So I had 448 stone and it sold it for 448 money because I have set stone for one money per stone. So let's show you how to set this up. So the first thing you guys want to do is go down in the description below and go to my GitHub. From here, make your way to my repositories, then click on free scripts. Then you should see a cell pad folder once you've done that, click on cell pad. Then you'll see cellpad.js. Click on that. And this is the code for the cell pad. So what you want to do is you want to copy this. Then you want to open up Visual Studio Code. So guys, once you have opened up Visual Studio Code, you're going to find your behavior pack. Then you're going to go to your scripts folder. You're going to right click your scripts folder and you're going to click on new folder. I'm going to call this folder cell pad just like that. Then inside this folder, we're going to right click and we're going to create a new file inside of this file. I'm going to call it cell pad dot JS. I'm going to click enter. Then you're going to copy the code from my GitHub and you're going to paste the code inside of here. Then before we do anything, I want you guys to go to your manifest.json and find your entry file. My entry file is scripts main.js. So we're going to go to our entry file and we are going to import our file that we just added. So to do this, you're going to type import space and then in quotation marks, you're going to put a full stop and a forward slash. And you're going to locate the folder that you created. In my case, it is cell pad. Then you're going to put a forward slash again and locate the JavaScript file that you just created. Again, in my case, this is called cell pad. Then at the end, you're going to type dot JS and then close that off with quotation marks. From here, when you load up the game, the cell pad should be working if you place down a beacon. But now we're going to set this script up to work for you so you can add certain items and add prices for it. So to do this, the only things you need to edit are within the first 15 lines of the code. So the first thing you want to do is change this money here to the scoreboard that you have inside of your world. So if your scoreboard is called cash, you would put scoreboard cash right here then inside of the map where it says construct items this is where you would add different items and add the price to them so if i wanted dirt to sell for five dirt is already there but if you don't want dirt you guys can simply just get rid of that just like so stone if i wanted stone to sell for 10 we can do that like so then to add a new item we just need to put a comma and then go down a line open up some square brackets and then you guys want to type inside of here we're going to type for example grass just like so and then you can type a price of how much that is going to sell for so if i wanted grass to sell for 70 per one i can do that like so then i can just keep on adding different things to this cell pad such as cobblestone or oak planks or anything like that now if i didn't want my block to be a beacon we can change that right here so if we wanted our cell pad to be stone for example we can do that right there or if you had a custom block in the game you just need to put the identifier of that block inside of these 
quotes right here. So if you had a custom block that had an uh, identifier of soulless cell pad, for example, you guys would just put the identifier there. In my case, I'm just going to leave it as the beacon. And then once you've done that, make sure to save the file and then load up Minecraft. When you guys load up Minecraft, you guys need to make sure that in experiments, beta APIs have been turned on and also make sure your behavior pack is also active on the world. Then you guys should be good to go. Upon loading into the world, you guys can then place down the block. In this case, my block is a beacon. Then you guys can get what you added to the cell pad. So let's grab some dirt. Let's grab some stone. And let's grab some grass. Just like so. Then when we step on here, you guys can see it sold 64 dirt for 640 cash, 64 stone for 640 cash, and also 64 grass for 4,480. And as you guys can see, the money has been added to my scoreboard on the right. But that's it for today's video. I hope this cell pad helps with your realm and your shop. But make sure to subscribe if this video did help you. Check out my GitHub for other scripts such as my report system and other things like that. Like the video if it did help you and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.